This is XFX AMD Radeon RX 6700 video card. XFX Speedster Series Swift 309. It is supposedly good for 1440p QHD gaming. It has 10 gig of memory and it uh, supports PCI Express 4.0. We're going to unbox it. I'm going to show you what's inside the box. And then I'll tell you my opinion about it and uh, about uh, AMD Radeon video cards overall. And you may get surprised by it. AMD RDNA 2 architecture. XFX comes with uh, two seals, the basic ones on the bottom and on the top. We have some information here. protection you have some papers warranty uh, this one has three fans recently i reviewed the uh, rx 6600 it had only two it was definitely shorter let's take a look at this one this one is definitely bigger it's heavier obviously We have protective plastic here. It's uh, pretty thick. I'm gonna give you some measurements. So a lot of radiators here. And as always, we're going to have HDMI and three display ports. HDMI, three display ports, XFX. Now look over here, there are two 8-pin inputs for, for extra power. Two of them. This is RX. 5500 for comparison this is almost twice bigger it will not fit in uh, small tiny cases you need a big desktop to fit uh, a three fan video card let's get the measurements i get the volt measuring tape the volt is good 12 inches no, I'm serious, it's 12 inches. I wish mine was 12 inches. My video card is like uh, nine inches or so. Yeah. My video card has two fans, this one three. I'll make sure you have, um, you can insert a 12 inch long video card and uh, give it a little bit extra. Let's see on the side it's about uh, one and three quarters width you need extra oh. make sure you can fit it in that's uh, not the biggest video card but it's uh, it's a full size three fan video card you know kind of like a three row SUV so this would be your like you know Tahoe or something. Oh, I'm spinning. Yeah, this is not recommended to do. You can damage the fence, so don't spin them like this. 
I personally actually have a Rx 6700 XT, so it's like uh, an upgraded version. It has two fans, so it's only about 10 inches or so. Look over here, it's a 340. And you can sometimes find it for a little bit below 300 probably, which is great. I saw different tests and it's uh, usually a bit faster than RTX 3060, but 3060 is usually more expensive, which makes RX 6700 a much better deal. And uh, same way RX 6600 at around uh, 250 or so is much better deal than something like RTX 3050. So overall, um, AMD makes uh, better video cards for the buck. At least if we compare 6000 series versus 3000 series. Uh, AMD a little bit newer, but now there's already 7000 series and 4000 series for Nvidia. So it will be a different competition there. But the top, top Nvidia is uh, definitely faster, definitely a lot faster and a lot more expensive too. If you buy a kind of a lower to mid-level computer, like 3050 versus 6600, or if we do 3060 versus 6700, or 3070 versus 6800, this actually, these ones actually might be more similar in price. So um, over here, you may just go with Nvidia. I once bought 3070 for $400 a few months ago from EVGA. It was a great deal. Um, so if you go for mid-level video cards, AMD are better for the price. That's a fact.